Hello my besties, how are you? Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you are a homegirl, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a farmhouse style window decoration using mostly Dollar Tree items and tree branches from the outside. I'm sure you could find many of those during these windy winter days. <laughs> Oh, by the way, did you see my roses? How beautifully they holding up? If you haven't seen my trip yet, you gotta watch the Valentine's Day uh, rose arrangement video. I'm gonna put a link down below because look, look how beautiful <laughs> a week later. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get started. I am very excited to tell you that today's video is a collaboration with Heidi Sunball with Happily Thriving Heidi. If you haven't met Heidi yet, I'm putting a link in my description box below so you could go check her channel and consider subscribing because her channel is a fun and happy place. She does many creative DIYs, home ideas, clean with me, uh, weight loss, and uh, many, many more joyful uh, life ideas. So please watch my video and get, then go visit Heidi and I'm sure you're gonna love it. All right, let's decorate my window for Valentine's Day. Uh, I just want to tell you that this decor piece is going to be great for any window. doesn't have to be big like mine. It's also great for a fireplace, wall art, uh, top of the mirror, anything like that. So besides a large tree branch, we're going to be needing some smaller branches or grapevines, anything to bring some more interest to our piece whatever you can find outside. And the best part is that it's free and everybody's creation is gonna be different and unique. And the rest of the supplies you can find at a Dollar Tree. Yarn, ribbons, some jute string, and oh my goodness, Dollar Tree has some amazing ribbons lately. Did you guys see these? I was in awe. Look at this, lemons. I'm so excited to do lemons again. If you haven't seen my video, you gotta check them out. These beautiful farmhouse stripes, sunflowers, and classic polka dots and uh, gingham. I mean, this you gotta stack up on. And here are some optional items. If you wanna take your craft into spring, you wanna add a birdie, birdhouse, some moss, and maybe a couple uh, cherry blossoms. You also might need command hooks to hang your decor piece. I don't have a curtain rod, so for sure I'll be using those. First thing I'm gonna be doing is cutting out hearts from a cereal box. If you don't wanna do that, you might wanna use heart tags from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna be using one of these tags as a stencil to cut out perfect hearts. I'm sure you have a lot of different uh, heart shapes at home that you could use for this. I made six hearts, but for this project, I used only five. And this is so simple. We're not gonna be even using hot glue. You just hold the piece of yarn and start wrapping around the heart shape. Three, four times in one direction, switch it three, four times in the other way, and so on. Continue until you cannot see the cardboard anymore. And then cut it and push that end with your scissor under the yarn. And there you go, look how cute. It's a really fun project to do it with your kids, grandkids or pets. Well, not really, <laughs> not with the pets. <laughs> I'm sure Coco had fun though. I'm loving these so much and I'm thinking to make one red. 
Uh, as you notice on my shirt, I have a little red heart and that inspires me to make one red one as well. So first I covered that heart with a thin layer of the cream yarn and now on top of it, I'm doing a thin layer of the red one. And look at that cutie. And of course, you're gonna do whatever color your little heart desires. I wind up using only five, so it's okay that she stole one. And let me tell you, this is a great pet toy. Now let's paint the birdhouse. I have a couple paints here. I just dry brush it with some creams and browns. Just so it looks weathered and used. The roof we're gonna cover with the moss. That's why I didn't paint it. And the sheet moss is very easy to use. You just cut a piece straight down. Fold it over the roof and glue it. You're gonna have a little bit extra on both sides and you glue that underneath. If you worked with moss before, you know it gets messy, uh, but don't worry, anything that falls off, we're gonna use to decorate the rest of the birdhouse. You know, it gets weathered and green all around too, right? So we're gonna attach these pieces here and there. All right, let's trim our branches and put them together. And we can use the floral wire to tie these together. And then you play around with the placement to see where you want everything to go. And I wind up putting the red heart on the left because that's where the heart belongs. <laughs> you see, that's not a designer thinking. <laughs> and then I take some jute shrink and I cut three shorter pieces and two longer. I wind up threading the jute underneath the yarn in the back of each heart and tying a knot right there. Creating a string hanger for each heart. This is how I space them out on the branch and now I'm gonna just tie them down. If you are wondering why my hands are so shiny, it's because uh, it's very cold and windy in New Jersey this time of the year and my hands get really damaged, so I need to use a lot of hand cream. And then I decide to decorate a little bit with the ribbons. So I cut five sets of three favorite ribbons, eight inches long. I crisscross them one on top of another pinch them together in the middle and attach them above each heart with a jute string that's already left over there at the top. I 
I later did double knots, uh, just so they stay on better. If you have any excess jute string, just cut it off at the end. As I already mentioned, I have nothing in my window to attach the decoration to, so I had to attach the command hooks. And now I'm just tying um, jute string on both sides of my decoration uh, to create hangers. I simply tie double knots at the top on both sides. and then hang my decoration. And this is how it came out. Do you like it? It has that uh, Scandinavian look to it and I'm loving this so much. I love the exposed uh, vines and I love the simplicity of it. And I seriously debated whether I should continue decorating because I love it just the way it looks. I love the little hearts here and all the ribbons. It's just beautiful. Um, I really didn't want to do much more. But since I made that beautiful birdhouse, I decided to attach it. And the best place was right here. Uh, actually next to the string hanger and I use a lot of hot glue to attach it there and then I decided to disguise that string a little bit with the cherry blossom or is it an apple blossom and attach the birdie on the side and another blossom on the opposite end and here it is a final result please tell me how do you like it I think it's great. I don't think it took away too much and it's perfect because it's going to take us straight into spring and uh, for spring we can decorate it even more. And I just have so many ideas already. Um, possibilities are endless here. We can decorate this piece for any season now and it's going to be amazing. Comment down below if you want me to include my ideas for the next seasons. I can show you in um, future videos how I change it up. And I have one more idea for you with the tree branches. It's going to be a tabletop Valentine's Day tree. I picked up a couple branches from my garden. These are so beautiful and they have some berries. I decided to spray paint it with cream color chalk paint and I'm going to use the metal bucket from Dollar Tree, wooden heart stickers from Dollar Tree. If you cannot get them, you might want to do cutouts um, out of the cereal bags like we did for the previous project. I'm going to cover these up on one side with the Buffalo Check scrapbook paper. I got it at Hobby Lobby, two for a dollar. And if you don't have it, you might want to use fabric from Dollar Tree. They also have buffalo check print or maybe one of the scarves. And we also going to need a piece of floral foam. I start off by tying the branches together with the floral wire. One more place right here. Then I cut my foam to size, glue it, and push it in the bucket. And then insert the tree. And now we need to give it a trim, create a trunk, and make it look like a tree. and even out the tree crown as well. All right, and now we're just gonna cover up those hearts real quick with the buffalo check on one side. Okay, and now we're gonna glue these on and attach little wire hooks 
so we're going to be able to hang this on our tree. And now the fun part of decorating the tree. I really missed it since Christmas. It's been a long time. I only decorated six trees this year. So yeah, that's why <laughs> I'm, I'm missing this a lot. And as you can see, I'm using some of these red side up and some uh, plaid side up. Look how pretty. And what does it remind you of? Yes, my Valentine's Day wreath with a little red track. I did not plan it, but I guess I'm still in the mood for red and plaid. And to finish this off, I bring some stones from the outside. First, I put in a couple shopping bags and then cover up with the stones. And this is now looking very pretty, like an actual tree. I'm very happy with the result and I'm actually debating whether to attach a ribbon or not. I decided to use the Buffalo Check ribbon from Walmart and the heart ribbon from a Dollar Tree. The only thing it's too wide, so I'm cutting it in half and cutting off all the wires because I don't need it to look like a bow. I want it to look more like a rug. And then I am crisscrossing the ribbons together, pinching in the middle, and I'm actually tying them together with that wire that I just cut off. Why not? <laughs> we use recycle, yes? <laughs> and then just tie it right there. And there you go, we are done. Do you like it better with the ribbon or without? I wonder what you're going to say. Did you guys see Coco's present? Leg warmers. <laughs> Isn't she adorable? She looks so cute. She loves them, doesn't take them off. They're perfect now for her winter walks. And let me tell you, everybody stops us to comment on her leg warmers. <laughs> and my last quick uh, DIY for you is actually an update on my fall farmhouse sign. You had seen me do it at Christmas time as well. We're going to make one for Valentine's Day. I am simply attaching the Dollar Tree poster letters on the squares of burlap and uh, then clipping them on to the picture frames. <laughs> That's as easy as it gets, guys. <laughs> and instead of letter O, this time we're going to be using the heart. And there you go. Look how cute. Uh, we can also use one of these uh, chalkboard uh, tags. Um, I actually like it better even like that. I love it. And there you go, an adorable farmhouse sign for a total cost of around $5. Um, it's so easy to make and the effect is great. Everyone compliments it and it's so versatile for any season. All right, my besties, so this is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had enjoyed this video. I have many more to come, so please consider subscribing and see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Coco, say bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>
see what she prepared for us now for the farmhouse valentine <laughs> 